Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Transformational Thursday today. Dan, you're looking very good today. Your beard is filling in very nicely. The 500 meter row, how'd that go? Pretty good? Yes, no, maybe so? Yeah, 500 meter row is one of those things that like you kind of have to accept what is. And the more you accept it, like the, more, the less it actually is painful because the pain itself is, is not necessarily the worst part. It's the anticipation of the pain. It's thinking the pain is gonna last forever. Um, and to be honest with you, not a lot of people are willing to be vulnerable enough to actually go through the pain of actually being successful in a 500 meter row, which is why a lot of the time people need like to be yelled at and, and, and motivated to actually be able to go to that place because people naturally feel vulnerable when they're like lying down dead. Like they don't want to do that. It's very, very difficult for a lot of people to do. Um, and that kind of leads me into a little bit of Transformational Thursday for today is the, 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 the idea that uh, we restrict ourselves from doing a lot of the things that we want to do just based upon this idea of discomfort, right? It's uncomfortable uh, to feel certain things, so I'm going to avoid doing it. And I know for me personally, um, you know, I'm, I'm always working on my weaknesses and, uh, you know, finding areas that I need improvement upon. And for me personally, it, it actually becomes a bit restrictive and I only focus on the things that I need to do better. And this is something that I've kind of uh, had a breakthrough with earlier when someone uh, came up to me and they said, hey, uh, there's this little five minute journal thing that you can do where you take three things in the morning and you write it down, three things that you're grateful for. And then uh, in the evening, you do th write down three things that you're grateful for throughout the day. So three things that you're grateful for in the morning and three things that happen in the day that you're grateful for. And as he's saying this, I'm saying to myself like, oh, that's a great idea. I'll never do that. Right. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, well, why would I never do that? Like, what is it about that? It, it, it plucked a chord in me that said, that's scary. I don't want to do that. And I'm now in the point of awareness when things scare me or I have some kind of hesitation toward it. I got to do it. Like the reason why you can't is the reason why you should. And I've said that before. So for me, the reason why I, I can't can't uh, is that I, I feel uncomfortable. And I don't want to focus on the good things that are in my life because then it kind of kills my story, right? It kills the idea that like I have to keep struggling. I have to keep pounding my head against the wall because if I don't, then I'm not going to be successful. I'm not going to get love. I'm not going to uh, be appreciated. Uh, but like in just thinking about it, it's like, well, why focus completely on the things that you don't have and start appreciating the things that you do have? And then it gets to a level where it's like you're appreciating the things you don't have. Whoa, it gets crazy, right? I'm thankful that I don't have clutter in my life. I'm, I'm thankful I don't have things that I don't need. I'm thankful of the things that I do have. I'm thankful of the friends that I have. I'm, I'm thankful of the ability to stand in front of people and be able to deliver a message every week. Like that's a phenomenal thing to be appreciative of. But I have to allow myself to feel that. And I said that kind of last week a little bit. But um, the, the thing that happens is with a lot of the time is that we do one of three things when something comes to us, when we have a decision to make. Um, the first thing we, we have a possibility of doing, there's three things, and you can, might be thinking of something in your head right now, a decision you have to make in your life. Okay, so one thing. Uh, the first thing you can do is you can appreciate what is. You can love what is, and you can take what is and focus on that. So I just gave you an example, but another example is someone who, who would say like, should I leave my job? Hmm. Okay. Should I leave my job? So uh, anybody like have a job that they're like, eh, I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it. There you go. Geo. Perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you for participating. Uh, Geo. Uh, I don't know what you do. What do you do? IT. IT? Okay, cool. Um, so tell me like one thing that you like about your job. You like. Or even love, you love about your job. So you love computers. Okay, great. Do you get to work with computers at your job? Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, does your uh, job provide an income so that you can get a roof over your house, you have basic comforts of living? Okay, so there's a couple of things at least, right? We, we identified two things in about 20 seconds. Now you have a choice. You can go ahead and say like, you know what? I love these things enough. Like this is what I'm gonna focus on and this is why I'm gonna create you know, I have a passion for my work. And then you're like, great, I love what I do, right? Second thing that you can do is you can leave. You'd be like, this isn't worth it. 
or this is not, uh, it's not something I love, and I leave, right? This happens in relationships all the time. People break up. You're not on the same page as me, we're not on the same frequency, we break up, not a big deal, right? But that's the two things that are seldom happen. We seldom appreciate what we have, we seldom leave the things that we don't appreciate. What we most of the time do is the third option. We complain about a situation and we stay there. I hate my job, I hate all the people who work there, I'll see you guys tomorrow, <laughs> right? <laughs> I hate you, I hate this place, I'll see you tomorrow. It's a coin of phrase for my buddy Joe. So the third option is a pointless option. It is a helpless option. We've used the idea of victim mentality before. You are a victim to your circumstances if you are choosing the third option. If Janice just didn't eat tuna sandwiches in the break room, I'd have a great time at work. Okay, well, again, that's your circumstances. You can choose to say, wow, I love the place that I work, and yada, yada, yada. You can make the choice to focus on something else, but you're deciding to work, work only with the things that you hate. And not only are you focusing on the things you hate, but you don't want to change anything by actually leaving the situation. So you just like to be complaining, right? This is what social justice warriors do. Does anybody know what a social justice warrior is? The people who go on Facebook and complain about, you know, uh, X, Y, Z, you know, uh, uh, feminism or Black Lives Matter or whatever. I'm not saying that in particular, but I'm saying uh, the people who actually are activists within it, but I'm talking about the people who comment on those things. They just get outraged to be outraged because they feel like they're doing something. They're not actually changing the situation. They're complaining about the situation. They're not avoiding the situation. You're actually better off just not going on Facebook if you're going to act like that. Right? Because what you're doing, or any other social media platform, because what you're really doing is you're saying, I want my voice to be heard, and I don't want to contribute anything that really has, is of any substance. I don't want to actually change what is. I just want to complain about what is. Right? If you really were that like, provoked to do something, why not go out and like, help make change? Why not go run for Congress? Why not go volunteer your time? No, because that would actually empower you, right? That's what people, they don't want that. They don't want the power. They just want to complain and sit where they are. And that's 90% of people. They just want to complain about their lives and not change anything. Because it's easier to complain and not do anything in their minds. Whereas it's absolutely, completely out of their control to make change that way. No one has made any change by sitting at their computer and tapping away and complaining or trolling people. Do you know who, like, who made change? I used this example before, Martin Luther King Jr. The guy didn't have internet, barely had phones at the time, obviously, and was in the Deep South in a, in a pervasively racist communities. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna knock on doors, I'm gonna go to churches, and I'm gonna get people organized, and then we're gonna march through these streets. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna march again. And what if we get locked up? We're gonna get out and we're gonna march again, and we're gonna do sit-ins, and we're gonna protest. And every time they throw something at us, we're gonna sit there and we're gonna take it because I know that our message is eventually gonna resonate with enough people that change is, has to happen. We're gonna force change in this position because we are gonna be a powerful enough force in ourselves and empower ourselves enough that all of a sudden the world will shape around who we are instead of us shaping ourselves around the world. And that's what a mind like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did. That's what a, a mind like Mahatma Gandhi did. He said, if we get enough people and we create enough awareness and a, enough level of consciousness that we can actually change the world that we live in and we don't have to just you know, manipulate ourselves to fit into this world. They didn't do it because they were sitting behind a keyboard. They did it because they acted. They did it because they had the mindset that I can actually change something if I get up and I do something. You have this option every single day when you wake up. You have the option to say, I appreciate all the things around me. I appreciate all the things that I don't have. And I am 100% accountable, 100% accountable for the life I live. Transformational Thursday for today. All right, guys. Thank you very much for sticking around.